Now, abnormal autoimmune function can affect reproductive success. And while this is a somewhat controversial area in our specialty, uh, we believe that there is very, very convincing evidence that a woman who has, a, who has a significant degree of abnormal autoimmune function in her body is at increased risk for infertility uh, and miscarriages. Uh, and there may be other complications uh, for which uh, this kind of an abnormal autoimmune function predisposes. But um, we know, for example, that in some of the classical autoimmune diseases like lupus or rheumatoid arthritis or MS, uh, fertility is reduced. And that fertility is reduced even before the disease becomes clinically overt. So in the preclinical stages, um, in the very mildest stages of abnormal autoimmunity. And that suggests that these subclinical stages of abnormal autoimmunity can affect reproductive success. And uh, therefore, it is important that patients, even in the absence of overt, visible, diagnosed autoimmune diseases, uh, be carefully investigated uh, for these kind of subclinical autoimmune abnormalities if there's a reason to do so. Now, of course, we do not recommend that everybody should be tested against everything. But if there's something unexplained, or if there's a family history, uh, then abnormal autoimmune function should be considered, uh, should be investigated, and if needed, should be treated. Here at CHR, we have our sequence of treatments. We start with little, and if that fails, we go to more intensive treatments, etc. Uh, in conjunction with miscarriage, uh, repeated miscarriages primarily, uh, treatment is better defined, uh, though once again uh, we here at CHR uh, treat a little bit differently from most of our colleagues, uh, probably a little more aggressively. And that's again based on uh, 30 years uh, of experience. Uh, we were amongst the first actually uh, to document in the medical literature th the connection between abnormal uh, autoimmunity and miscarriage risk. And so our clinical experience uh, in treating abnormal autoimmune function goes back a long time.